Okay, so if you watch my videos, you know that I use a pretty vanilla default. There's a reason for that. During development, I often have to test out some other themes and such, and it's usually just easier to then revert back to the normal breeze. I don't have much time to actually go ahead and do a custom setup to my liking, especially when I spend so much time trying to make the default theme breeze better for everyone. But here's the thing, it has not always been like that. Years ago I was a little kid that didn't contribute to any open source project all the good old times and yeah, I had some wild setups. In particular, I just loved to go extremely extremely minimalistic and i know what you're thinking but no more minimalistic i actually do remember the first time i started using kitty plasma and as soon as i discovered and it only took a few seconds that i could change anything i basically didn't stop for years so i think it's time to present to you my super custom setup and if you were wondering how can i remember exactly the setup well that's not a thanks to me but rather i've posted my setup on unix porn it was extremely extremely popular as it got around 34 upvotes 34 I, I, I was born to be popular yes it's going to be very popular so i have just like an artist that's drawing on a canvas, let's start putting the perfect minimalistic setup together. Firstly, the wallpaper. Now, okay, okay, you could go for one of the various minimalistic wallpapers, but I'm super into blur and transparency as well, and I do love KDE. There is one, just one default KDE wallpaper that features transparency and blur, and it's cluster. So yes, let's start with cluster. Then we need a panel. Uh, we could go without it or we could automatically hide it, but believe me, we'll save enough space with applications that we can afford a few pixels here and there. However, it will be annoying to actually see a panel on the top, so we'll just make it completely transparent with just a blur behind it. The wallpaper gives us enough contrast, likely. For the selection of the applets, I went for a Mac-like layout with a centered fuzzy clock. I've never talked about how just good the fuzzy clock is, by the way. And a global menu on the left that's gonna save space for the applications themselves. On the right, the system tray with only the truly needed icons, a folder to quickly view home folder files and a productivity clock. Boom, that's it. I know this doesn't feel minimalistic again, but it's comic and it does feel blurry and transparent. And again, I'm the, can, I'm the king of blurry and transparency. So let's open up a console. So there's a lot of stuff that's completely wrong. First of all, where we have a title bar. That's a terrible crime. Who needs a title bar? You can simply move around the windows by holding the meta key and using the mouse. Boom, done. We can get rid of the title bar very easily by creating a keywin rule that applies to all windows. Okay, now console looks like this, which is, well, minimalistic enough for me. It still looks incorrect though, this is because it's not blurry and transparent. There is an easy solution though. We can go into console, settings, and pump up the transparency to the max. Boom, solved. We'll also apply blur. However, I'm still rather unhappy because I'm not going to spend my time managing my basically invisible windows. So I'll head over the Kwin scripts section and immediately download a tiling script. This way is gonna maximize and since both the panel and console are fully transparent, it doesn't even look like there are two different components, but rather it's one whole thing. I think this really makes the whole setup feel less heavy and more minimalistic. Next up is Kate, which looks like this. Oh no, this is terrible. I mean, normally I love Kate, but this is completely inconsistent with everything we're doing. First of all, we've got a sidebar with soft stuff and that's taking space and I don't really really need it. To make those disappear, you can go into the plugin settings and just disable everything or you can go into go icon by icon clicking hide icon. There's a lot of text on the bottom still, but we can get rid of it in the appearance section of Kate settings. 
whilst we're there we can also kill everything in the borders sections which includes the weird scroll bar which i love and the line numbers on the left we can finally get rid of the whole status bar entirely in the settings menu and we can also kill tabs and the location of the file since you know should always know all your files by heart anyway. If you're weak, you can keep the document structure button on the left, which allows you to switch between files much better than tabs anyway. Finally, we can kill all toolbars and we have an almost decent for our setup looking kit. What's missing then? Well, obviously it's not transparent. That's not as an easy fix as it was for console, sadly. We have to do something very ugly, which is download Quantum. This allows to customize the style of the applications. We could go for a turbo hack and change the color scheme files too, but I'm not sure if that's any better for us and it might have some un other undesired effects. So the issue is that I found literally no Quantum theme that makes Windows completely 100% transparent. It's sad that in our society, fully transparent guys like me have to be shamed away from good setups. Luckily, it's really easy to change the colors of an existing Quantum theme, like Materia, which is the one I chose, to make it fully transparent through the Quantum UI. Well, almost. Fully. For some reason, Quantum only allows transparency up to 90%, but not fully transparent. Uh, oh no! <laughs> so I opened an issue years ago on the Quantum project complaining about the slider only getting to 90% instead of 100, and the maintainer quickly got back to me with a reply that could be summarized into why the f could you do that? And I was like, come on, you allow 90% transparency? That makes sense, but my setup doesn't. And yeah, it didn't like my response. Luckily, this is only a Quantum UI limitation. If we go editing the actual color scheme files of the material theme, we can actually hard code full transparency there. So that's what I did, obviously. Nice. Now let's open Firefox. And oh no, not again. This is terrible. In fact, I currently know of no way to safely salvage the poor browser. If there's a way to make it fully transparent and blurry, I do not know of it. So we need to start using the one and true browser made by KDE itself, since it's going to be using the KDE style set by Quantum, which is transparent. You might be thinking about Falcon and that would be a correct thought. However, Falcon doesn't look good enough for me. It's still not fully fully transparent and blurry as I'd like. You might see where this is going. If not, you are in for a ride. We are going to use the one and true Kitty browser. And we are going to use Conqueror. Co Conqueror. 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 If you don't know what Conqueror is, well, I'm not even sure how I'd explain that. I can simply download it, it and open it so you can see what it looks like. It looks like this, which is finally something that feels like makes sense as a whole. By the way, Conqueror is also able to display your folders and your files if you want to give a brief look to them. Next up is Dolphin. Well, this is getting easier. This one is actually almost perfect. The only thing that's missing uh, is to hide this horrible opaque uh, frame, but that's actually rather easy to just directly go into Quantum settings and click a checkbox. We still get some toolbars, and as you know, I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, so it's hide, hide, hide. If I ever need something, I can simply use the global menu or the nice F A command bar, Control Alt I, which opens a search bar where I can actually search through all actions in Dolphin. I'm obviously also disabling the left panel because okay, why wouldn't I do that? However, there's a reason to argue that adding a preview pane on the right could ke keep things still very minimalistic, but you know, still decently pretty. So we can get, we can go for that one. 
Similar story for poor Ocular. We keep the document, but we immediately kill off the toolbars. We can kill the sidebar too, but you know, it's transparent and it's kinda useful, so we can keep it, I guess. Next up is LibreOffice. Uh, oh no, this is not right. Okay, let's directly give up on LibreOffice. We shouldn't, because there are ways to make LibreOffice kind of consistent with this thing too, but back when I first did this, I didn't know, so we immediately switched to the one and truly KDE Office application, Calligra, which isn't that bad, actually, not at all. It's not something I would suggest for mm, real use, mm -hmm. but I did write some documents with it and that worked. We still have to kill off the toolbar, again, there's shortcuts and the global menu anyway, and then we can move around the giant ugly sidebar to our liking. To be honest, the design of the giant sidebar is the only thing of this application that I feel like doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Everything else is sane. I do have one very bad news. One view when I first did this setup looked completely broken as it drew a custom hard-coded completely opaque background. This was a very big issue. However, that was refactored since six years ago. Yes, this was six whole years ago. It's crazy for me to think about it now. And I think now it has some chance of working. I haven't tried yet. It might have even more chances of working if we also mess a bit with the color scheme files to force transparency, since it now follows the color scheme. It didn't six years ago, so yeah. As far as application go, that's it really. This is the biggest part of the setup. We still have some details to address though. We need, we need to choose an application launcher. Now, we of course don't need an application launcher. We can just use Code Runner or whatever, but we said we can't have pretty things. After all, the launcher is minimized most of the times. Uh, so even if it's big, that won't really be an issue. So let's give it a shot. This is extremely subjective, whereas the rest of the setup is objectively beautiful, but I went for the tiled menu written by the amazing Zeran. I can customize the various tiles with little space between them, with no text and big shiny icons and background colors that match the color of the icons. I mean, come on, look at this. It looks freaking beautiful. So yeah, that's what I'm going with as the launcher. We can hide the left sidebar because of course we're going to hide the left sidebar and it's beautiful. 10 out of 10. Now, jokes aside, this whole setup hardly makes any sense whatsoever, but it was actually the setup I was using every day six long years ago. It has since been a lot of time, I've, I've changed a lot, but underneath my breeze is cool skin, I still have a, what do you mean I can't make my applications 100% transparent hearth? I promise I'm not going to let that overflow into my KD work, not too much at least, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> See ya.